Last night I went to Trailer Park Boys Live. I had some fun. Okay, so at Trailer Park Boys last night I got this hat. You can see it has the Trailer Park Boys logo and different stuff. And uh, yeah, so right now I'm just gonna show you what happened last night. You're not gonna see this hat in very many videos. I don't want to wear it a whole lot, so I'm not gonna wear it a lot. I'm not gonna do it all. Not doing that, and uh, I got to meet them in person, so they signed my thing, and this is my VIP bracelet from Trailer Park Boys last night. I was a VIP, very important person. And then I had my poster sign from the Trailer Park Boys last night. And, uh, yeah, so it was kind of different to see them live and instead of on the TV like I always do. I usually, I'm usually just watching them on the TV. I went to a live Trail Park Boys show last night because of, uh, it is one of my favorite things and... I don't usually go to live concerts like that. I usually go to just the Elvis Presley uh, personation, and that's it. That's the only live concert I usually go see. Rather than Trailer Park Boys, last night Trailer Park Boys were pretty awesome, and I love that I was able to meet them in person just like I wanted. Because if I didn't go, I wasn't going to be able to meet them. Those tickets were 75 bucks. And one person lost all their money because they spent 500 bucks on the raffle draw there last night. And, uh, yes, uh, yes, so they, uh, lost a lot of money. They lost 500 bucks because they bet 500 bucks on a raffle draw. Why couldn't they just keep it was 260 You know what I mean? Like, because... 260s are awful lot. Like, they didn't start as hundreds, they went from 50 to 100, and, uh, but yeah, like I say, that was a pretty fun show. And I would love to see more concerts like that here at Centennial Hall in London, Ontario. I don't know how many live shows at Centennial Hall there is. I don't know how many shows play at Centennial Hall here in London, Ontario. Uh, probably not many that I would like, but they're right here in London, Ontario, right where I live. So, would I like it? Probably, probably not, don't know. Um, does that. Yeah, I can show you uh, um, that they are a pretty 
good at putting on a show. Do I still have the picture? Um, I took a picture earlier. There it is. Um, there's the picture I took today off the SwearNet website because you can just take them off and have them as if they're your own at the Trevor and Corey convenience store. Probably was all the Trailer Park Boy episodes right there at the convenience store on the shitmobile, which is Ricky's car. And, uh, so if you don't like Trailer Park Boys, that's just not a show for everyone. Just like the one shirt I have is not a shirt for everyone. Because I have a shirt that says, if you don't know jack shit, if you don't know jack shit, all I'm trying to do is tell you about last night because last night was hilarious. I'm surprised I don't have a sore throat from how much I was laughing. And, uh, yeah, so that was amazing. It was a pretty good night. Me and my stepbrother and a few other pe one other person came with us and uh, I did not bring a camera. I took my phone though and that was the only really camera I really had with my cell phone. I did not even bring my iPad and uh, so I didn't really have any other cameras rather than my cell phone like I say. Um, but yeah, like I say, that is a huge thing. I met Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles. And Randy. And Randy's not always, Randy and, uh, late, or er, Ricky are not always getting along, but they got along pretty okay last night after Ricky took a clamp to, um, Brandy's ball sack to wake him up, but yeah, like I say, it's pretty interesting of a show If you like it good if you don't I would recommend Like the trail park boys is not for everybody and it's just like the swear net website is not for everybody itself and uh I found out about them from Instagram the other day that they're coming to London, Ontario. And uh, that's how I found they were coming here. And like I say, um, I'm thinking of getting this poster from last night that I had for a while. I'm thinking of getting my poster put in. Uh, I'm thinking of getting my poster done, like either in a picture frame, like either a picture frame, or I will take you to where there is a canvas because I tried to decide between a canvas or a picture frame for that picture for the Trail Park Boys picture I have, or get copied and put it on a canvas like this that I did for Daisy or or that I did for my mom's boyfriend Jeff uh, or I will I don't know what I'm doing yet with the poster but I know I'm trying to also put the hat in a shadow glass I think from I think the hat will look good in a shadow box or shadow glass or whatever you want to call it um, but I think it's a shadow box, not a shadow glass, uh, because a shadow box would actually keep my hat pretty nice, I think, and I really don't want to wear it that often, because I'm leaving even the tag on it for now, um, and maybe just wearing it once in a while, I don't know, but yeah, like I say, um, I don't know, last day was pretty interesting. And uh, I would do it again to go see them if they come to London. And they went to the States last year. But I'm not going to just buy a passport just to go see them. Why not? Because I find that's a little ridiculous when they're coming here to do the same show. Uh, every couple of years. Or whatever they're doing. 
Um, so yeah, so right now, like I say, um, their show last night, pretty amazing. I don't know what else to say. I loved it. Uh, as much as I love their TV show, and this is what my poster is usually in that's on my wall But I think I'm gonna get transferred to a canvas now or a picture frame and uh, reason I say that is cuz um, I don't know what else to put it in I really don't um, I really don't know what I want to do with it yet. Um, or maybe I'll get it laminated so I can keep it forever or something. I don't know what I'm doing. But like I say, I'm going to get it so I can keep this picture as long as I can. And so, not in like that poster. Because this poster has got, um, like, this is what happened with Dukes of Hazards. Is it got ripped, ripped, ripped. I had another Trailer Park Boys poster. It got ripped all so bad that I had to throw it out um and I thought like what am I gonna do because I don't want to throw out that poster like I did the other trail park boys poster um because I really liked and maybe get this laminated and uh yeah so now I'm gonna say on with the show of the trailer park boys from last night and I'm gonna finish up editing the video so I can put it on for you now and I can switch over to my computer to show you the rest of last night. I wouldn't let you let my 29 and a half inch candy cane fucking toxic Oh, 
that's fucking lame. <laughs> this ain't a student. <laughs> okay, Chris, name something you do right before you go to bed on Christmas Eve. Pray that Santa Jesus died. <laughs> Well, see again though, you're looking for what most people in Sunnyvale would say. Yep. There's only one person who believes in saying to Jesus God. I'll be shocked if it's up there. Show me, pray to say to Jesus God. One answer and you win the ground. What's the once you get for her, folks? What's the once you get? Name something you do right before you go to bed on Christmas Eve. Oh, 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 the motel. 